Good evening. Saturday night, and it's clear cup action. This week coming from Sportsland Sugo. It's 22 laps, which will follow on from the usual 20 minute qualifying. Just cloudy weather for the race. So the race will start very, very soon. I'm just sort of getting the stream shared, so please bear with me if I do go quiet. So the race is going to be underway very, very soon. Just wait. So, penultimate round of our Cleo Cup, sponsored by Max Coates. Sadly, we missed last week's race. The problem with the new update that came out meant people were having trouble getting online, myself included. I also did my back in as well. So, sadly, I wouldn't have been able to commentate because of that. Well, we are back this week. And of course, next week for our final as well. So I'm just going to load up the tables as well and see what the standings are like. Evening it's Jen. Good luck drivers. Yep, good luck to the drivers. Uh, you may have heard that I've I turned commenting on. It's come through the headphones because I have been having trouble getting into the stream to see what the comments are. But Cam, a little bit out of shape at the back there. Obviously got to get heats in so our leader at the moment is RCF Polo FR, 135 points. RS Jim in second, 133. And Cam, 127. So where is RCF? Now it looks like RCF is missing from the race at the moment. So RS Jim, who's currently second, still in the pits at this moment in time. Uh, fourth place we've got NGR Martin on 114. That's one hell of a mountain to climb to get to the top. I think it's really possible, really. I mean, it's now out of the question, depending on what happens to RS Jim and Cam, but this is really Cam and RS Jim's battle for the top spot. Especially if RS... F Polo doesn't RCF Polo doesn't show up tonight. But we'll just wait for the times to come in. Obviously, everyone out on their out laps. Shouldn't be too long before we start getting times posted. But Suga were obviously one of the tracks that were added into Project Cars 2 so Clio Cups haven't come to this track yet. Should be a good track for them. There's a lot of twists on it. Not many, many big straights so just I think the biggest advantage will be people who've practiced on the track and are used to it. But if you are watching, let us know who you think will take it. Now, someone has just joined late. Still don't see RCF on the board as well. So, someone has joined late, but that does mean that they won't be tracked on the game. As Cam going off into the dirt there. RS Jim's out on track at the moment as well. Oh, getting sideways there. That was a great camera shot. 
So time's come in. So Edgy off Fraser at the moment, putting the top spot in. Right behind him is NGR Martin, though. I was saying that, NGR Mega, sorry, is the one who's just behind him. The Les. He's obviously just the filler tonight. He's been pushed all the way down to six at the moment. Graham Ward Racing. So he's a filler, but making it a good mark for his first start win on the live streams of the Cleo Cup. Ajar Scooby is in second place at the moment. He's not had a bad season. He's not been the best for him, though, unfortunately. Luck has been against him in the race. I think he's 10th at the moment. Let's just confirm that. Oh, no, he's 7th at the moment. Seventh company with 99 points, so bit of a tall order for him to to claim the top spot. If luck really went his way, then it's something that could happen. But there's a lot of people above him who would have to have an unlucky turn of events for that. Cam is still in the dirt. I'm not sure what's happening here. He's now getting his clear cup going. Uh, RS Jim. So really tonight, RS Jim is the one that could really gain the most out of this as well. It's five points ahead of Cam. So Cam really needs the luck to go his way tonight to really gain anything out of this RCF is only 7 points ahead of him so he could take the top spot tonight but RS Jim is going to have to have a very unlucky race which I don't want to curse him but we have seen happen in previous races this season and there's some traffic just getting out of his way there a little flash of lights to say thank you but I think we'll stick with Jim on this lap here we've currently got the top five within a second of each other Horace Jim just been pushed down to fifth. Is he going to improve on his lap time now, though? And move up the table. No, he stays in fifth. And J.R. Fraser ghost in there for some reason. Not too sure what's happening there with Fraser's car, but it is invisible. No, it's back now. Got Amiga in third camp. Still yet to put time in. This could be his first time lap. As he goes over the hill towards the finish line. So camp moves up to seventh. Two seconds off the top spot though. So he's a little bit underpaced at the moment. Of course that's his first time lap. So I'm sure we'll see him improve slightly. Cam was saying today that he feels this track will provide very very good racing for these cars should definitely provide some very very close racing at least for the first half of the race it is all about picking the overtaking spots in this though Graham Ward racing as the camera goes and tracks the fine him. Still out on the top spot, almost half a second ahead of Scooby. Amiga's pitting in there. And there's Shadow Stalker in 10th. He's 
is ahead of some guys that normally you would see a little bit higher up the table so well done to shadow stalker at the moment this is an impressive run for him of course we've still got just over 11 minutes to go in this qualifying session I'm still in seventh. So, I mean, he has improved on his time. He's now just over a second behind. So, he's taking chunks out of that gap. We've got six within a second of each other. Oh, back end just getting a little bit out there on RSGM. He's not going at the pace that we've seen. I don't think this lap is going to move him up the table anymore. Just over 10 minutes to go now. There's Cam. Cam's back in the pits. There's a few that are in the pits at the moment. And John Martin is out on track though. But Cam, to keep his championship battle alight, he does need to get back on track. He, and we can gain positions in the race but I'm feeling tonight it, towards the front is probably where you want to start Angel Martin is slow in there Cam is now back out on track Jim, so he's just coming up to the final corner on the track as he goes up the hill so he's finished is he going to improve on this lap this qualifying session is almost at an end stays in fifth doesn't improve on his time either Back in the pits again. Oh, I think this might be an outlap for Cam. Taking it very steady. Probably just letting the traffic up ahead. Go on just that little bit more. Gives him a clean run through his next lap. As he now powers down all the way. Let's go on board with Cam for this lap. As we watch to see if Cam can take Vision of Pole away from Grey and Ward Racing. Nicely done through that corner. Bring up the speedometer there. Nice use of all the track here. This looks a good lap from Cam. So we do know now it's the Han GWBL that disconnected and rejoined the race. 
Cab's got a little bit of traffic here. I think that's NGR Tim. Cab's going to want him to get out of the way. So he has moved out of the way. Very considerate of him. So he does better on his lap. He's moved up to sixth. He's now just behind his leaderboard rival, RS Jim. Oh, gets a little bit out of shape going around that corner, though. Just under six minutes to go in qualifying. We'll stay on board with Cam. So we're just coming up to the timer marker now. So he's almost half a second down on his lap time. I don't think he's going to find the time in this lap, sadly. Did much better in sector two, though. But now this long sweeping right hander. Hear the engine screams. Been now be pushed down to seventh. He do. It may have been. But no one is really making a din. And Brain Ward's racing time at the moment. He has got Edu's just behind him. We'll stay on board with Brain Ward racing. As he puts down another lap. He's slowing there. Let's Edu past. board with RS Jim now. He's down on his time as well. So I mean Cam's not in a bad place at least he's just behind his rival. At the moment, anyway, for the start of the race. And Jim almost half a second down there. That's a great camera angle, that. So that our cam's just in front of him as well on the track. So not a good lap for Cam Mess. Almost eight seconds down on his lap time. Might have had a, a cut track warning or something forced him to ease off. Tire smoke there. little dab of the brakes just to get the car under control he's down on his lap time looked like he eased off a little bit there I mean it could have been just the camera angle that we're looking at but maybe had a bit of a slow down penalty we'll see Oh dear, pushes too hard there, off into the gravel, pushes some dirt onto the track. Oh, 
Just him screaming up behind him now. So is RS Jim going to improve on his time here? No, he doesn't. But thankfully for him, Cam doesn't either. And Cam is exactly where Jim wants him to be at the moment. MOG checkered flag, 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 MOG thumbs up. Okay, uh, some weird comments are coming in there. Let me load up the YouTube stream and just see what is being said. I prefer sport. So preferred GT Sport. I mean, obviously GT Sport, slightly different game, I'd say, from from Project Cars too. We do like GT Sport and Next Gen as well, though. But I mean, if you like your, yeah, I don't. So I, I find it hard to compare. Where's RS Jim gone? Oh, I was just loading up the stream there. Did RS Jim disconnect? Okay, something very weird has happened on my game here. Mm, not quite sure what's happening here. We've had a mass disconnect. It's strange happened to my leaderboard here though. Mm. Which be the time as we'll try my head and the tail of this here. Yeah, I think GT Sport obviously is, is quite good in terms of the bugs. It hasn't really got many in the game. Project Cars 2 has been hindered with quite a few bugs really. I mean I was still saying that uh, Irish Jim. Still in there, so that's good then. I think it's just something at the end that, that happened with it. The hard, not sure where he is because he's not being tracked properly. But well done to Graham Ward Racing. That was a good qualifying session from him. Amiga putting in a good show to come second. Scooby, very well to get third. The game just sinks up. It's great Ward gets off the line very, very well there. As NGR E do in the yellow, just in the middle of Scooby and Amiga. Amiga, a little bit slow off the mark. But E do and Scooby side by side there. Edu moved up to second place. Great start from him at the moment. Greenwood is slightly pulling away from these guys though. Amiga and Scooby side by side here. He's got Cam just behind him there as well. Cam's moved up the field well. He's got Fraser just behind him and RS Jim just behind. Fraser getting a little bit out of shape there. Is he able to keep it going? Oh, he does. Avoids any kind of contact there as well. RS Jim managed to make it past RS Jim. Probably a a huge breath of relief from him as he saw Edgy R. Fraser's car a little bit out of shape. Oh, it's a few people in the back getting out of shape there as well, off into the grass. Edgy R. Fraser bringing this fight to RS Jim, though. The look at Cam. He's where he wants to be on the table. He's front of RS Jim. 
could do with just making a few more jumps up as the cars go screaming past that I absolutely love that camera angle well, this is very bunched up at the front Edu is now bringing it to Graham Ward racing here Edu has managed to get into the top spot Edioski beat the free wide now as they approach corner one four wide now as Amiga comes in as well a little bit of a touch there a look at this cab is absolutely loving this he's just watching all this unfold little down the brakes there from Scooby but Amiga now in first place followed by Edu followed by Scooby really followed by Cab followed by Fraser and RS Jim has dropped down to 10th I don't know if he's been involved in any kind of incident at the moment but this is not what he wants for his championship title challenge but this is exactly what Cam wants. Almost looks like the cars uh, crawling at a snail's pace there. I assure you they are not. So we'll go on board with Cam. He do very out to the left there as well. Moves across now to defend his line from Scooby. Scooby's going to have a bit of a slipstream on him here. But Cam. He's going to try and latch on to Scooby as much as he can. Very late breaking from Cam. Oh, side by side, a little bit of a touch there. Both cars make it through, though. Edgy off Fraser, you can just see him just in the mirror there as well. He's watching all this unfold. Oh, dear. Let's take that screen off. Oh, Edie's made a mistake there. He goes on the grass. Still keeps second place, though. But Cam right on the bumper of NGR Scooby here. Fraser keeping in this fight as well. And the Les just behind them has got NGR Martin with his lights blaring as well. Oh, as so the camera tries to catch up with Cam, there he is. He's now going to have to start thinking about defending from Fraser, who's just behind him. Scooby bringing this fight to Edu here as well. And Amiga having a great run. Oh, there's Edu. Just getting on the gravel there. But again, he's still keeping that second place. He does not want to let go of this. Scooby's got a great runner on here as they go up the hill to the straight. I think he's going to lose this place to Scooby now. So Cab now latches on. No, Cab's going to make a move here, is he? Is he going to make it stick? Goes back in to defend from Fraser. Everyone stays where they were. Scooby must be thinking, how can he get past Edu here? Edu must be thinking, how oh, he's holding on for second place so long. Now side by side with Scooby. Scooby puts out his elbows. Gets into second. Cab is going to try and steal a place here as well. Edu forced down two positions there from Scooby. Fraser almost going to capitalise on this as well. Oh, touches there with Fraser. Fraser and Edu still touching. Edu turned into a lawnmower there. I think we'll see Edu fight back with this, though. I don't think he's going to take this lying down. Bit of a lock up there from Scooby. As he now has to defend from the attack of Cam. RS Jim is up to eighth place at the moment. As the camera is watching something happen here. Oris Jim down in temp. Looks like he was caught up in something again. Not his race at the moment. This is all playing into Cam's hands. We've got Fraser. 
Who is behind Edu again? No, looks like Fraser has a slowdown penalty. Now he's got all that hard work to do again. So Edu up into fourth. He'll probably want revenge on Scooby. Throws the car around the corner there. Almost getting onto two wheels there. There's been some great clear cup racing at the moment. We've got NGR Martin. He's got NGR Frey. NGR Frey is on fire tonight. Show very good pace. He had that slowdown penalty, unfortunately, on the home straight. Lost two positions out of it. I think he was going for the slow in, fast out. There he is, still on the tail of NGR Martin here. He's just going to stick with him, apply as much pressure as he can. Oh, looked a little bit out of shape there, Fraser. A little bit of speed lost. He's caught up to NGR Martin here, though. I think NGR Martin might have a bit of a slowdown penalty. Fraser's got past him very, very easy there. Let's find RS Jim. Still in 10th. This is not the race that he wanted. I can certainly tell you that much for free. Cam has moved up to second, though. So he's now got NGR Amiga, who's, in fairness to him, has had an amazing race so far. Hasn't really put a foot wrong. Of course, now I've just said that, I probably just jinxed him. But Cam is a man on a mission. And I'll tell you who else is on a mission as well is Edu. He's now behind NGR Scooby. Scooby probably does not want to see NGR Edu in his mirrors. He knows that he stuck his elbows out before. And I think Edu is now going to look to make a pass here. Is he able to? He's not. But I'll tell you what, he's letting Scooby know that he's there. I can sense that Edu is going to make a pass very, very soon, though. Edu just stick with him. He'll use the slipstream provided by Scooby to catch up. Is he going to be able to get side by side before corner one? I think it's just a bit too much in it at the moment. This is the battle for third. Oh, he just gets a little bit too much dirt under his wheels there. Loses a little bit of momentum. See him throwing the car around the corner there. He wants this third spot back. And NGR Amiga out in front. He's over a second and a half in front at the moment. It's been an exceptional drive by him so far. They're on lap 7 of 22. NGR Martin it's, looks like he's got another slowdown penalty there. NGR Fraser's got past him. Graham Ward racing. Had an exceptional qualifying. But he's now down in eighth place. Bit of a lock up there as he gets his clear around the corner. But the battle for third still goes on and NGR Scooby is the man that's still in that place. The gap to second has decreased slightly as well. But it's still over a second. Oh, a bit of a lock up there. Edu managed to keep it going though. Keeps it within the track limits as well. So well 
done for that. Just try to keep an eye on the timings as well. But the gap to second is getting slower. And I'll tell you what, when you're driving, you can see that gap to the guy behind you is getting slower. The pressure does build and build. It's now under a second. Cam is slowly but surely taking centimetre after centimetre out of that lead that NGR Armiga has on him. Can come sense that he's probably got a bit more pace than Amiga. You'll see the gap probably decrease even more now. And Scooby still holding on to this third spot. RS Jim now up into ninth place. He's got the Les just in front of him. Is he going to be able to make enough of, an of, a, of an advancement in the race to get into any decent points? He needs to finish higher than this, really. Just to make the last race that bit more difficult for Cam. And, of course, RCF. I mean, RCF not able to race in this tonight. That's really going to make his championship win that bit more difficult oh someone got a little bit out of shape there it's Lee W07 gets back going though that's a great camera shot I could literally just watch that camera all night of the cars going past and that's just Cleo Cup cars oh we do get very wide there is that going to be a slowdown for him the penalty system has been reworked in the game We had a GT3 race on Wednesday and around Catalonia. And the pad system was, was, was very much improved. I mean, it doesn't look like he's been issued a slow down. If he has, he hasn't taken it. But Angel Armiga is doing enough to keep Cam at bay here. Not a huge gap between him and Cam, but it is a gap all the same. And Scooby has put a little bit of a gap between him and Edu. Maybe he did get a little bit of a slowdown penalty, which has caused that gap to form. Irish Jim still a ninth and the Les still making it difficult for him to pass. Taking the Y line around this sweeping right hander up to the home straight. I mean, just in front of them, a Grain Ward racer who we've seen in qualifying is able to throw this clear cut round this course at some pace
Well, this is definitely not the position that RS Gym wants to be in tonight. He's able to really close the gap on the Les there as Les makes a little bit of a mistake. RS Gym's got the inside line for the next corner. Side by side. RS Gym still got the inside line. Shoulders, elbows out again. So now side by side. RS Gym just creeps out just in front. Just in time as well. I think we'll see RS Gym slightly pull away now. Halfway through this race. But RS Gym, a massive 21 seconds behind NGR Amiga. And that's what the Les bringing it back to him here, though. The Les goes back into eighth place. The Les is, of course, just the filler for tonight. Well, it's always good when you see the fillers bringing the fight to. Oh, side by side, they both connect. Irish Jim gets ahead there. He's got Graham Ward racing in front of him now. But quite a good lead over Irish Jim. So I think it'll be a while, but Cam. Now just over half a second behind NGR Amiga. And that battle for third is still going on as well. Scooby is holding on to this one. Edu must be thinking what he could do to get up. And above him. I think we're going to see Cam and Amiga side by side very, very soon. Lap 13 has just begun. Unlucky for some. Is it going to be unlucky for, though? Amiga or Scooby? But none of the top four putting a foot wrong at the moment, though. Edu really keeping Scooby on his toes here. Cam and Amiga now coming to the back markers. As we've seen lots of times, especially in this series, the back markers don't make it difficult for the front runners to pass. They normally just pull over and, and let the race continue. As we see there. Gap under four seconds now. Scooby has put a tiny little bit of distance between him and Edu again, but nothing really enough to relax. RS Jim still in eighth as well. A little bit lonely for him out there at the moment. NGR Martin is down in six. NGR Fraser is still in fifth as well. Those guys just at the moment just concentrating. Don't want to put any foot wrong. And just hoping that some of the front runners do make a mistake. But as it's looking at the moment that is just not happening. Cam now really, really close to Amiga. Still around that half second mark. Oh, Amiga makes a little bit of mistake there. Allows 
can to catch back up to him. Oh, he makes a huge mistake there. Still keeps the car going though. Is that going to be a slowdown penalty? Yes, it is. Cam gets into the top spot. No, Amiga still in first. They are side by side here. Cam's now into first place. Amiga's going to have the slightly faster line going into this corner. Cam's got the inside though. Oh, Cam can't get there. Well driven by Amiga to keep that top spot. What well, this fight is now as close as we're going to see. A little bit of a lock up from Amiga there as well. Cam gets in front now. Now it's Amiga's job to apply the pressure. Scooby will see all this going on as well. This will probably push him on and Edu will follow him into it. Oh, a little bit of a back-end moment there from Amiga. Another back marker. Being approached now from the front runners. So Cam is exactly where he wants to be in this race. He won't want to lose this place now. There's the back marker just getting out of the way of traffic there. RS Jim still in eighth as well. He would have loved to have been involved in this. As we rejoin Cam, I think he made a little bit of a mistake there. Let's go on board with Amiga. That's just how close it is. Applying immense pressure. Oh, a little bit of a touch. It's going to unsettle his car more, though. Cam's going to drive off ahead. Scooby is side by side with him now. Now Amiga in an NGR sandwich. And this is going to play very much into Cam's hand as he lets these three battle it out. But Scooby now on to second place. Uh, Amiga going to try a cheeky move here. Can't make it stick. So the pressure got to Amiga just a little bit there. If you are watching, do comment and let us know who you think is going to take this top spot. I mean, that is Cam. Definitely with a slowdown penalty there. This is now a four-way battle for first. Who is going to take the top spot tonight? I mean... Edu is in fourth, but it's definitely not over for him. 
all it takes now is for one driver to make a fatal error and the top spot will be taken from them Scooby showing great pace down the home straight Amiga going to try him no he thinks about it but can't make it stick Cam still holds on to first place Scooby really defending here I think he does watching this all develop as well he's just waiting for something to happen when racing is this close something normally does happen I certainly would have thought it would have been a four way battle for first towards the end Edie just can't find a way past one second he's got Scooby just in front then he's got Amiga just in front of him again Scooby just fell out he's let, letting Cam just run away slightly but he has to think about defending as well as attacking as they approach another back marker Lap 18, yeah, as the back marker just moves out of the way for them. That's the top four, battle it out. That would have been a sight to see in that car, seeing those four screen past. Yeah, the exhaust popping. Oh, that's Edu going off onto the dirt there. Oh no, that's Scooby making a mistake. He gets back on track. Get a man to get back on track in front of Edu as well. I really thought that was going to be Edu going into the top three then. Now, was that a flash of lights from Edu there? Not too sure. I think those still be definitely out of a word with each other in pit row after this race almost like a Jason Plato and Matt Neal battle between them two tonight oh we do a little bit of a touch there letting Scooby know that he is here oh that's Amiga with a slow down penalty He now slots into fourth place. And he do is certainly going to let Scooby know he's there. Scooby did let him pass very easy there as well. Maybe he thought, mm, did I get in his way when I come back on track before? But this is allowed. Amigo is sideways. Amiga has to slam on to avoid any contact there. Oh no, that's come with a slow down penalty. Edu now in first place. This is just non stop action for the last part of the race here. I really can't call who's going to take first. Edu now has to fend from Cam and his race nemesis, Scooby. And Amiga's still in this as well. But I mean, when it's this close, you don't really want to have those slow down penalties ignored. Because what well, could mean you lose one place? If you don't take the penalty, you actually lose three places. Look at this, four wide. 
Oh my goodness, four wide going into turn one. Oh no, Cam and Jeff, uh, Scooby Touch. Jeff is Scooby's actual name there. Uh. Oh, that's allowed Amiga and Edu just to pull slightly away. This is the penultimate lap, but this is far from over. Almost looked like Amiga got a little bit sideways there, but again, it's now just a train of four cars. Scooby now down in fourth place, so now we've got Amiga, Edu, Cam, Scooby. This is exceptional clear cup racing tonight. These are the kinds of races we love. Cam side by side of Edu now. Oh, Edu, has he outbroke himself there? Went very, very fast into that corner. He's now down in third place. Cam in second. Amiga still in first. Scooby still in fourth. That's just how close it is in this race. Last race it was four. Last lap it was four wide. This lap it's two. Cam edges out in front. Edu slots into the middle here. Oh, Edu and Amiga touch there a little bit. But Cam back out on top now. Edu again a little bit in the dirt there. Scooby tries to force a move from someone. No one takes the bait. Oh, Amiga, a little bit wobbly there, but managed to keep the car under control. It is taking the white line into the corner. This might pay off for him. Cam still in front, though. Whoever takes this win tonight is going to be very, very pleased. Oh, that's just how close it is on the final lap. I think Cam's got this. He's going to be third, though. Cam takes the win. Edu second. And for some reason, my timings have gone all over the shop here. Okay, so people disappear after they pass the line by the looks of it. Yeah, that's very strange there. Let's just check the timings screen. Uh, yep, yeah, no, that's no better either. Well, there's one bug that wasn't there before the update. Good old project cars. Oh, we can't get back to anyone. So we just wait for the race to finish. But well done to Cam. That was an exceptional race for him. It wasn't certain until right at the very end. And well done to NGR Edu as well. Managed to fight his way back up to second spot. So we'll just wait for the timing board just to appear. 
So Cam, Amiga got second, Scooby third, and he did fourth. Ah, oh, there were some time penalties issued at the end there. It's three seconds, so he did unfortunately pushed down to fourth with the penalties. So that is what Cab wants. So that is going to put him top of the table going into the final round. RS Jim should move up to second. RCF will be third. So do join us next Saturday at half past eight for the final round of our season 10 Clio Cup sponsored by Max Coates. We do look forward to it and hopefully you will join us. But thank you very much for watching. If you are new to the channel, do subscribe. Click the little notification to let us let you do know when we go live. As always, thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you soon.